What in the hell is that thing? That's like a uh, little shop of horrors. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days of That. I'm Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are getting ready for Horde Night here. Just got to get the sleepers cleared out of our Horde base once again. Hopefully, this will be the last time we will be using this base. And then after that, we can uh, get into our new base that we're planning on building. So let's just get these yahoos out of the way. Whoa, shit. More yahoos. None of these guys are runners. Well, unless you piss them off and then they start running, yeah. Um, so tonight's going to be mostly a melee night, but I do have some pipe bombs with me that I'm planning on um, um, employing. Probably in the early part of the horde night. I've got, um, well, I only have two stacks plus five and then some nades. So I'll probably do like a stack and a half. And then after that, um, go to melee. Because I want to save some explosives for the really bad monsters. You're feral. Um, I got the uh, shotgun turrets and... Did I ever look that? Yeah. I got the shotgun turrets and the um, uh, drawbridge put in place. And I called in a whole bunch of screamers just because I kept running... The chem bench for gasoline and the workbench for ammo and all that kind of stuff. And I just ended up getting the hell out of there because uh, I didn't have time to deal with it for one thing, but there was just so many of them anyway. So, all right. So we should be good to go. Every, I, I repaired everything after the last horde night, so I didn't have to come up here early and repair. We should be good to go. You can see, too, that I also upgraded more stuff uh, to uh, polished steel. Now, one thing I wasn't aware of, but you don't actually need polished steel to repair polished steel. You just need it to, um, an, you know, initially create it, which is great, because then you can just repair it, you know, with just the normal steel. Okay, so uh, I don't think we're going to need wood for anything. This should be completely full on fuel. Yep. And, yeah, we should have a good night tonight. Uh, again, last night in this horde base. One thing I've noticed about Ravenhurst is sometimes it does show the wires and then sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but um, anyway, yeah, that's the way it works. So, all right, uh, I will bring you guys back at 10 p.m. and we will start the horde. All right, guys, it's time. Uh, we're going to start the night with some Atom Junkies. And we're going to burn through about 30-ish or so pipe bombs first and then we'll switch to melee. I also have some... Um, uh, rock, or, uh, skull crushers too. So let's get started. Um, again, probably not going to show the whole thing because you've seen it already, but uh, I'll just show maybe highlights, bits and pieces, pieces, that sort of thing. Let's go. 
All right, guys, it's Morty. So uh, we had a bit of a of a mishap uh, last night. Uh, one of the exploding zombies came in, exploded over here, and blew out our uh, <laughs> the destruction of it. Uh, blew out our our second fence post. Um, but fortunately, you know, it happened fairly early on uh, or late in the night, uh, so it wasn't a, a major problem for us. But um, yeah, kind of sucks though. So uh, we didn't have a lot of super monsters. We had a bunch of mummies, a couple pumpkin heads, and a couple Iron Man guys, and, and that one exploder. But what had a lot of irradiateds and a lot of cops, the most I've seen uh, so far. So yeah, lots of those guys to deal with tonight. I, I think we have four points in total, though. We had two of those when we uh, started. So let's take a look at that. Or I guess we have three points. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, it was, uh, I mean, overall, definitely a successful horde night, but, um, we had the, had a, a few, a few challenges, particularly with the exploding zombo, so, let's just deal with those guys with some explosive. Okay, I still have combat music, so, I'm assuming there's still a few more to come. Um, a few of the cops, I think, blew up on the way down, too, so they might have messed up the ramp, um, too. So, all right. Well, I think, I think we're done with the bulk of it, so let's turn this off. And we got a couple of glowers still. Let's take care of those guys with explosives. I'm I'm just amazed at how powerful the pipe bombs still are this late in the game. Um, I think they're more potent in Ravenhurst. So, all right, get on up here. Oh, we got her. Nice. Um, I just about lost my shotgun too, but I caught it right, right at the last second before you know it broke. The shotgun itself is, you know done for basically but I didn't want to lose the mods on it either oh okay and also uh, this weapon is very close to uh, to be in uh, toast but I can actually make those now we found the schematic at the the colony ship place so I'll just make a cheap one to use it do it to do a combined repair all right let's go around the front here um, it's not my intention to do any repairing here unless it becomes apparent like, say, in five days from now, six days at the most, that uh, we're not going to have the new Horde base done. Uh, but that's definitely going to be a priority for me. Um, okay, so let's go in here. A sleeper zombie. Have you been there the whole night? She couldn't have possibly been there the whole night. I mean, she would have been blown up. Yeah, those sleepies are still there. Look at the destruction here. My goodness. Yeah, this wasn't from a demo. This was from one of those uh, explosive zombies that we've run into a few times. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. Okay, we have impact bracers on, so we didn't break our leg, but... Okay, this ramp is good. Let's um put our luckies on. And I actually have some... Oh, you know what? I don't think I brought... Did I bring my eye candy? Let's go check. I might have put it in the motorcycle. I can't remember. I have a few, like, three pieces of it left over. I had accumulated quite a bit of it, and I was using it, you know, to loot the colony ship POI. Maybe I did use it all up. Oh, no, I still have some. Okay. So let's grab that and head on down. Yeah, so like I said, I'm not planning on doing any repairing here unless it becomes apparent that the new base isn't going to be ready in time. Is there, or are there more bags down there? Yeah, there's a few. Okay, let's pop this eye candy. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, okay. Come down this way. Ramp down here is still in really good condition. So, yeah, this is, this return is still working quite well. It'd be nice if we could get either a, a high-level auto shotgun or a high-level sled, steel sledgehammer to repair the two that we have, or or assault rifle.
Yeah, that's a pretty nice AK, but not really what we need. Crap. Okay, well, that was shit loot. <laughs> I mean, overall, right? AK was the best of it, but... Ah, disappointing. Okay, well, it is what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, I'm going to do the usual make the trader runs. I have the motorcycle this time, so I, you know, I'll be able to do it a lot more quickly. And um, one, I, one thing I did, though, which I'm kind of kicking myself for, is I forgot to bring my money with me. <clears throat> and the, the round, you know, the, the round that I make uh, leaves me, or, um, leads me back to the house by the time it's done. So, I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, but let's, um, let's head in here. Is someone in there beating up on Bob? <laughs> sure enough. Arlene, leave him alone. He's the nicest man in this whole game. You're sitting there beating him up. How you doing, Bob? With your 100,000 hit points. He's just standing there like, eh, just tickles. <laughs> okay, let's look at, um, let's, yeah, let's look at Bob's inventory. And just see what he has. Uh, if he has something really good, we can always come back, you know. Uh, let's see here. Got the 4x4 truck chassis. Okay, not really anything great in his secret. Let's just look at his normal stash now. You know, I've I've been pretty unimpressed with the trader loot ever since I got Better Butter 5. It just hasn't been that great, you know. So I don't know. Maybe my expectations are too high. Sass, he doesn't really have anything we want. So, okay, let's see if there's a couple things we can sell to him, just if for no other reason to uh, make our inventory a little bit better. There was something. Oh, yeah, let's sell him the money. And we can just sell him this. I, I could, me eh, I should probably repair that. That's a leather hood, and it's a red leather hood. So I could probably make, you know, a couple, three, hundred, four hundred dollars more off that if I repair it. So I better save it. And I think that's all we want to sell to our buddy Bob here. So let's. Peace be with you, my friend. Peace be with you too, my friend. All right, you guys. I'm going to do the usual trader run. I will just um, show you the. I, I might show you the, the the trader inventories this week, or I might not. <clears throat> I'll definitely show you anything they have that I'm planning on getting, so for sure. And then when that's done, um, we'll we'll see where how our time goes. I never I'm never really quite sure, you know, how much time I'm going to have after I edit the horde night. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to show the entire horde night because I mean it was it was pretty much like the last horde night except for there was just more, you know, more cops and more irradiated. Okay, so anyway, at some point, I'll be back uh, with an update. I forgot to do the points. Let's just do that now. Um, so we are working on getting Fortitude up. So we've got three points available. Resilient is two points. And then we're just going to sit on that one point until we can get Amazing Constitution. Now, this is the last one in Fortitude that we, um, that we need. And then 10 will get automatically with the tough guy sunglasses. And then once we get that, then we're going to max out living off the land. And then we'll be uh, doing great uh, for food and farming stuff. And then after that, we'll figure out what's going to happen next. Well, actually, I can tell you what's going to happen next. I'm going to get pain tolerance and healing, healing factor up after those two to toughen ourselves up. And then after that, we'll figure, figure out what's next. Okay. Anyway, I uh, wanted to show that to you, and I'll see you guys in a bit. What in the hell is that thing? That's like a uh, little shop of horrors. It's 500 hit points. Well, that didn't work so well. It moves fast. Holy shit. It's stuck on the dog. Perfect. Go, go boom. Did, wait. What the hell? Oh, shit. We got it. 
Oh my god. Oh, man. I wish it would stick around so we could look at it a little longer. What the hell, man? Alright. Well, anyway, that was exciting. Alright, guys. We are home. It's just a little afternoon. We made really good time. It's awesome having that, uh, that fast motorcycle. <clears throat> so, um... This is all stuff I want to sell, so I'm going to take, grab that and grab our money and drop a few things off. So let's see here. Yeah, let me, uh, let me drop a few things off and then we'll, we'll head out. We still have to check the trader in our town and the, and South Gen trader. Okay, so let's take a look at our shotgun situation. Um, what can we make now? We can still only make a yellow one. It's possible that if we make this yellow one, this will stay green, but I kind of doubt it. I guess it doesn't matter because we still only have one mod slot. I mean, in terms of mod slots anyways. So, yeah, let's make ourselves a... Oh, you know what? Guess who used up all his shotgun parts? Doggone it. Okay, let's hold off on that until... I'm going to sell this, and let's see if the trader actually has some shotgun parts. This is just too valuable to break down. Um, in fact, you know what we could do? Why don't we just use this for a while until we can find another auto shotgun or find some shotgun parts to repair that? So I think that's what we'll do. Uh, and I can actually make the tube extender mod, too. So what do we need for that? Shotgun tube extender mod. You know what? I don't want those turrets shooting normal Zeeks. I only want them to be shooting um, sleep or, uh, you know, the screamers. So, yeah. Okay. Let's go back in here and we'll see. We're making a tube mod. So, what do we need for that? Uh, iron, glue, mechanicals, and springs. Okay, so let's get um, some iron. Glue, mechanicals, and springs. Okay, let's get that crafting. And then, let's see, this is a blue one, so we should have three slots. Yeah, so we'll put the we'll put that on there for sure. Uh, what else do we have for gun mods that we could potentially put on here? We could put the sawed off on here. I think we will actually put the sawed off on here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So modify that on there. I think it even makes it look like a sawed off. Let's check. Yep, it does. Cool. Okay. And then, um, and we're going to want to put slugs in here. Oh, now we get a screamer. Man, this place must still be hot. Okay, let's turn them back on for the screamer. Hopefully the turrets will kill her. Okay, so, and we're making the tube mod. So we're not going to quite have the fast fire rate uh, and probably not the magazine size of the... Nice. That's what we want to see happen. Okay, modify. Okay, so that gives us uh, 186 damage per pellet. I don't remember what we were getting from the from the other one, but yeah, this will be a nice weapon for us. Okay, now now we're killing normal zombies. I don't think the sleep screamer called them in, but sometimes she, she calls them in without screaming. It's very frustrating when that happens. Holy shit! It kind of sounds like we do have an escalation. I hear a lot of zombos. I didn't think the shotgun turrets would call this, have the screamers call, but it looks like maybe they do. Hmm, we might have to rethink that plan. I, I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna have to probably do is just put all my forges underground away from the base, because this is just such a pain in the ass. Scream. Oh, my <laughs> my bridge hit me. And they call more screamers, man. That's what really sucks.
The shotgun turrets don't seem to be doing the damage that I remember them to do. This is probably out of range. That's the problem with the sawed off is we have to be in closer range, but... Holy shit. We're gonna have to bail. I'm calling in gr greenies and everything, man. Off with your head, greenie. We got a double on that. Nice. Oh, feral fat guy. Okay, <laughs> shit, we gotta get out of here. Oh no, we're stunned. We gotta get out of here. This is too hot. It's too hot. But we're gonna shoot you first. Okay, no, bridge, no. <laughs> I might have to rethink that bridge situation. Holy Moses. All right, let's just get out of here. Shotgun turrets, maybe not such a good idea after all. I know that in, in the vanilla game that spikes will kill the screamer without the screamer calling in. Maybe we may need to put a bunch of spikes around. Oh, geez. Okay. That's a feral screamer. Look at her running. That probably didn't kill her, especially if she's feral. That did. Oh, shit. That's why we need rad removers on all of our weapons moving forward. We're getting so many greenies now. Oh, shit. Come on, ferals. We might as well frickin' put nightmare speed on all the time now because <laughs> half of these bastards are running anyways uh, okay we got it what I want to do is go back to the base and get our um, get our um, another feral is still not dead shit all right time to go it's getting too hot uh, what was I saying? Oh, we gotta go get our coin. Let's just run in, grab it really quick, and then just GTFO because this is this is an escalation, and I don't think I can do anything about it. I'm like really framey right now too. So let's just grab everything out of here and get out of here. And once we leave the area, they'll despawn. Whew, man! I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> this isn't the first time this has happened to me, you guys, either. I mean, there's I've had escalations, you know, when I was just doing off-camera stuff, not even recording, and it's just another day in the life in Ravenhurst. I, I, I think, you know, I'm thinking maybe what we really do need to do is put some spikes, you know, and upgrade them to iron just around the whole moat, because the those should kill screamers without them screaming. Where in the hell am I going? I think we overshot the traitor. My game is like really framing just because all the zombos that have been spawned in. Alright, let's stop here. And we need to put some more gasoline in here too. Okay. So, yeah, let's go see what uh, Rexy has in his inventory. And we want to sell, too, so we're going to sell all this. I thought about keeping some of these and putting them up for decoration, but I'm afraid of copyright strikes because this is all, like, we can still hear our turrets all the way over here. This is all, like, real actual movies and stuff, you know, and we could potentially get in trouble for that, so. Um, uh, you know what? I started actually scrapping these for the blueprints, too. Um, yeah. I was going to repair this with a leather armor repair kit. That, yeah, we could get a little more coin out of that one, too. We should probably hold on to it. That doesn't matter. That's not going to make much difference. This, yeah, we're going to sell that. We're going to sell this, too. 
Uh, that we should repair. I guess I needed to go through and repair some of this stuff, huh? This one, yeah, that's probably worth repairing. That's probably worth repairing. Uh, this, these, these are extra ski goggles. These are extra luckies. Plus, they only have plus three anyways. This definitely needs to be repaired. I guess I was just putting stuff away and thought I'd get to it later and forgot to do it. Um, these nerdies, it doesn't matter. We'll just sell them these. Okay, everything else I think we want to keep and repair because we'll just get a lot more money uh, if we do that. But we have a pretty good, you know, collection of coin. We have over 35,000 coins. No coin. refunds. Deal's oh, done. Sorry. Now beat it, fucker. Uh, <laughs> I didn't look at his stuff. Okay, what you got, man? Uh, again, I got to tell you guys, armor piercing, yeah, you know what? I'm going to get that because um, that's going to help our pistol uh, power a little bit. Uh, I was telling you guys earlier, I'm just not impressed, though, with the loot overall. It just sucks. I see a shitload of iron sledgehammers. I'm not seeing any steel sledgehammers, which is what I need. And uh, it's almost not even worth my time to spend most of the day after the horde. That's all the stuff. Thanks, thanks. You know, going after, checking these guys when they don't have shit. So, I don't know. I'm a little disappointed with it. Just a little disappointed. Anyway, let's go down to South Gen. South city gin and see if she has anything at all we want I, I want an auto shotgun um and i want an assault rifle and i want a steel sledgehammer um so that we can use them to repair the ones that we currently have essentially Okay, here we are. Check the vending. Even the vending machines have been crappy today. <laughs> you know, I like uh, rock busters. I like skull crushers. I like eye candy, and I just haven't been finding anything good. All right. Come on, Jen. You got to have something good for us. Everybody else has shit. Uh, you got some decent pistols. We don't really need to. Well, we do kind of need to repair our pistol. But that's a lot of money for not all those that great of pistols. Night Stalker Volume 6. Eh. Yeah, not really anything in the secret stash. Just look at the normal stash. Shot, shotgun choke mark. We might be able to make that, actually. I know I bought the recipe for your awesome sauce, so I can make that. Killers. Do, do, do. Nope, she doesn't have jack shit, man. Jen? Really? Yeah, really. Well, okay then. You. It's you. <laughs> okay, well, this is what it is, right? This is what it is. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're done with this uh, episode. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go back home. And I think I am indeed. You know, I've got that mine that I've dug up all the way down to bedrock. It's going to be a pain in the ass, but probably less of a pain in the ass than the screen. Well, you know, actually, hold on. Let's try the spikes first. Let's try the spikes before we resort to <clears throat> moving all, all of our smelting stuff. Because it's not just the smelters. I mean, it's the stove, you know, the cooking stove, the uh, Kim bench, all that stuff, too. So let's try the spikes, see if that works on the screamers. And if it doesn't, then we're going to have to move our operation uh, at least the smelters at the very least downstairs or downstairs down in the mine underground away from the base i think because you know i i need to get production going big time to build this base if we're going to have it up by the next horde night and so we've got to figure out the sleep uh the screamer problem okay all right guys well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye